Wisconsin Highway Research Program has completed a series of projects to improve subgrades and subbases for state roadways. As you may know, probably about two thirds of our state is uh, what is, can be considered poor soils or difficult soils to work with, being either silts or silty clays. Uh, what these research studies did was focus on those areas of the state to try to come up with some means to provide a construction platform for our construction traffic so that our, our, the earth moving equipment can, can move on this without uh, developing ruts and sinking in excessively. A standard practice by the Wisconsin Department of Transportation was to remove soft soil and replace it with two to three feet of breaker run aggregate. But this large volume of crushed rock can be costly to acquire and transport to the construction site. With that in mind, we came up with eight potential alternatives uh, of different types of materials that could be used in that top surface of the subgrade. <music> The Wisconsin Highway Research Program asked investigators to determine the utility of these alternative materials in subgrade and subbase improvement and their relationship to each other. How thick does a layer of one option need to be to match the stability provided by a given layer of another? The materials tested can be divided into three general classes. Uh, other granular materials such as uh, uh, grade two, grade one, uh, granular backfill type of materials which is not as strong as crushed. Uh, rock breaker, uh, breaker run, but uh, you know, still strong materials. Uh, maybe another uh, alternative was to use uh, geosynthetics to reinforce the material, granular materials, and minimize their quantity in creating a working platform. And then the third uh, area was to use industrial byproducts insofar as possible as a a relatively inexpensive source of uh, material. The research and implementation effort involves six studies stretching over nearly 10 years. Some of them were laboratory studies where we studied the uh, mechanical behavior of the material under different conditions as well as leaching characteristics uh, with circulating water through the material and see what comes out. Uh, we also have to do things in the field just to see whether there are construction problems during construction and how it behaves and how it behaves in the real environment where you know there's freezing and thawing and rain and, uh, and all those seasons and so forth and the traffic loads on it from a lab to the field it's a big jump so we are we also run what we call large-scale uh, model experiments we have a laboratory in which we create a prototype of uh, a segment of the payment and we do uh, you know repetitive loading just like a truck is passing over it and we look at uh, the uh, mechanical properties and try to scale to the field. These studies produce detailed information about the mechanical properties of the various subgrade and subbase improvement materials and equivalency tables showing the relative strength contribution of each material. Some of the findings regarding particular materials were dramatic. Research findings show that the impact of, of GeoGrid was very beneficial. Um, for, depending on the certain type of granular layers that we have, uh, GeoGrid may be able to reduce those granular layers by anywhere from four to seven inches in thickness, uh, resulting, of course, in the cost savings associated with that. The studies also showed that there can be substantial benefits gained by recycling pavements and judiciously using industrial byproducts such as fly ash. It will save energy because those materials are already, already produced. You don't have to produce them like crushed rock and so forth. Oftentimes you don't have to transport them. They can be used right in situ in place such as recycled payment materials as part of these byproducts. And uh, although we see trace uh, metals uh, leaching out, uh, their concentration is uh, quite low. The department will be reviewing the outcomes from these research studies. After review, we are hoping that we can refine our original thickness values that we have for these different select materials so that we can become more cost competitive 
and reflect the research findings from these studies. So now uh, Wisconsin DOT can incorporate these things directly into their uh, facilities uh, manual uh, and uh, other documents, specifications, and once they do, engineers throughout Wisconsin can use it, but also the counties, the cities who use the state uh, documents will also use it. And not only those, but they are all on the internet. So anybody in the country essentially can access and uh, make use of those recommendations. The use of alternative subgrade and subbase improvement materials will allow Wisconsin to build roads that last longer, cost less, and result in less environmental impact.